I thought I'd share with you this um, story that, for me personally, explains what life is like for most. And it's about this girl who was brought up very sheltered and protected by parents, not really allowed to do much other than stay inside, stay indoors. And when her parents died, she inherited the small cottage that they lived in, in the rural forests away from everyone. That's how much they protected her. So she lived alone in this cottage that was right in the middle of nowhere. And she had a pet cat and pet dog. And her life revolved around growing her own vegetables, not owning a car or anything, but just uh, every now and then walking into the nearest village for some extra foods and essential things that she needed. But everyone knew about her, but she was very much left alone. So she would walk the day, and one day she was walking the day. They, she would walk the dog. One day she was walking the dog, her usual routine, and she heard this screeching sound which came about a mile away and a, a loud impact bang, and she walked. She ran with the dog to find out what was going. There was a, a road nearby, and she assumed something had happened, and there was this accident. This car had came off the road and smashed into a tree. So she ran and opened the car door. She struggled and there was this man and he was choking um, in the way position he was sitting and he was about to stop losing consciousness and die. And she quickly pulled his head back, unloosed his tie and pulled him from the car and put him into some sort of recovery position. He, 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 she then grabbed what appeared to be his mobile phone and dialed 999 and and spoke to the the, people, the necessary people, and they said, "Yeah, what what are you doing?" She says, "He's breathing," and and, and they communicated over the phone. And she was asked to leave the phone on so that the, 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 they could detect where the where the accident was, and 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 there would be someone there as soon as possible. So she laid the phone to the side and um, made the man comfortable, and and. Um, very soon the ambulance came and took the man away and she, the police came. She was given some statement and allowed to go home. And very soon, out of the blue, a letter arrived at her door. And it was from the wife of the man who was in the accident saying, thank you very much for you know, saving uh, my husband. And, I would like to meet you and, and thank you um, personally. And Lily was very, very apprehensive about this. You see, she didn't, she wasn't very confident, didn't like to meet people. She just did what she had and wanted to be left alone. But something inside says, you know, it's only courtesy to go. So she met this woman. She went to the hospital with a man who was recovering, and um, she was walking along the corridor very unsure about what's going to take place. And suddenly this young little girl of about nine years old um, came running towards her and grabbed her by the waist and hugged her. You saved my daddy. You saved my daddy. You gave me my daddy back. I love you. You're, you're, you're a wonderful person. I love you. And she was quite taken aback. And yes, that's, you're welcome. That's okay. And the girl then stopped hugging and ran away back to see her dad. And the mother, uh, the wife was in, in the waiting room and in she comes. And the wife was in tears and said, thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate it. I wanted to um, pay my respects, but I also wanted to, to ask you if you would maybe consider something. And she said, yeah, what? yes, what? She says, well, you know, I am a, I happen to be a nurse. I happen to be a very highly sought, recognized nurse. And I spoke to the emergency team and you saved the, my husband's life by reacting spontaneously and doing things that you probably never had done before under very, very difficult circumstances. 
Yeah. But you also were heard when the mobile phone was left off, reassuring my husband. Yes, I was just saying everything's going to be okay. Yeah. But that really is something that is out of the... It, it comes from a truly, truly compassionate person, a truly caring person to to stay attentive to the whole thing the whole way through. My husband remembers you speaking to him. He doesn't remember anything about the accident. He remembers everything, everything about you speaking to him and what you were saying about how beautiful it was, the weather was. All the things that detracted him from what was taking place was so important to him. You have so much nursing qualities. I would like you to consider becoming a nurse. Oh, she says, I, I don't know. I don't really think that I'm um, that made of person. I have my life. My life is my and my own. I don't want to get really involved. My parents warned me about all these things. And, oh, no, she says, it's changed days now, you know. It's a wonderful world to get involved to. It's wonderful, you know. And nursing is such a great pro profession. You get so much rewards. Oh, no, she said, I don't know. I don't think so, you know. I, I, I have no confidence, I know. Oh, she says, you, 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 the way you reacted is enough. You, you, you don't need confidence. You are that nurse already. You just have to go through some courses and some qualifications. And she says, um, <clears throat> I will consider it. She says, well, okay, if you give me a call back. So the woman goes home and she immediately, I don't want to do that. You know, I, I'm quite happy. I love my cat. I love my dog. I love my house. I love my my own beingness, my own solitude. I love this life that my father and mother gave me. I don't want to. And then one day she woke up and again something stirred and she says, you know what? Maybe I should try something. Maybe I should go out into the world and, and try this nursing thing. And if I don't like it, I can come back. So she contacted the, 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 the lady, the nurse, and, and the nurse was delighted. She says, right, I'm going to put you on a training course. So for the next few months, <clears throat> until a year passes, and she every day goes in, gets the bus, walks to the bus, goes into the training center or the, the university, and day by day began to meet people and began to become this, this wonderful uh, natural nurse and she received <coughs> a certificate of being a nurse and she put it on her empty wall she had nothing on her wall she had nothing to show about her life no pictures just a small picture on the mantelpiece of her mom and dad but no pictures about what life was about so she stuck this certificate on the wall she says I'm a nurse my life is taking shape. She then contacted the nurse and again and said, I've done it, I've finished, I've completed. She says, now you must apply for jobs then. You must apply for a job. I will give you so much um, opportunities. You just fill in the forms, apply for the job. Very good. So all these job applications arrived at the woman's door through the postman. The postman was delighted. He never ever got the opportunity to deliver mail and now he was delivering mail. So she opens all these applications and sends them away. And one by one, they come back. I'm sorry, you're not experienced enough. You, 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 you don't have the experience. And okay, next one, no, you don't. And after 10 or 11 attempts of having to maybe go and further her education, uh, when she had the certificate saying she was a nurse, she thought, why would I have to prove and justify some more? This is a hoax. This is not what they said it would be. She kept getting rejection letters and she put the rejection letters up in the wall around this thing. And she says, my God, my wall, which was empty, that then became positive and now it's totally negative. I've had enough of this wall. I've had enough. I'm just going back to the way I am. I'm just going back to the way I was. I tried and I failed. So she ripped down all the rejection letters and ripped them up and threw them in the bin and then she ripped down her nurse's certificate I also put into the bin back to that empty wall again. And that was it, she went back to her normal life. And very soon, 
Two or three weeks later, suddenly the postman knocks on the door. Hadn't seen her for two to three weeks. And this time he didn't deliver anything through the letterbox. He knocked on the door and she went and answered the door and he says, this is for you. And there was a box. <laughs> and he says, please sign here. And she signs and he says, have a nice day. And, and, and then she goes and she looks at the box and she says, what's this? So she opens this box and inside this box is her coat. And the coat that she threw over the man to keep him warm at the accident that she was wearing, that she completely had forgotten about. And someone had washed the coat of blood and delivered the coat back. And she says, oh, it must be um, the police or, or whatever, or the, the wife of the... And she says, oh, well, you know, that's fine. It was a very good coat. I like my coat. So she decided to put on the coat and take the dog a normal walk. And she, she puts the coat on, looks in the mirror and says, yeah, life is back to normal. Everything is back as it was before the accident. And she goes to put her keys, house keys, into the pocket. And suddenly there's a piece of paper. And she takes the piece of paper out. And it's folded and crumpled up. And she opens it and reads it. To the most kindest, most best nurse in the world. Thank you for saving my dad. You gave me my life back. I love you. You are my special nurse. And I'm signed in the boat bottom. The little girl's name. Take care. And she quickly took some drawing pins out and stuck the letter on the wall. And every day she looked at it. Every day she looked at the words, you are the best nurse in the world. She had the best certificate. She didn't need to prove or justify to anyone. She was already that nurse. It made her life. It completed her life. A life alone, but a life worth living. Namaste. All.